there, it's Hi Yogis, Carly Rose here, and welcome to another Yogi YouTube channel. Uh, today we are doing a strong legs flow. So a quick flow builds some strength and power in our legs. To warm up, we will do an ankle to knee or double pigeon pose. So come here with your ankles and knees stacked. Um, bottom foot can be a little bit flexed, um, or you can have it more rotated towards the earth. Top leg, you do want a bit of flex to help protect the knee. Make sure you scoot your sits bones back, sit comfortably on the mat, creating some space for your hips. Uh, if it's comfort more comfortable, you can get like a block or a pillow. Uh, if you are um, feeling some tension here in your hips, maybe they're not quite all the way down, definitely put whatever support you need there. Don't need to worry about pressing your knees down or anything like that. We're gonna let gravity start opening up our hips while we start activating our Mula Bunda breath and doing some uh, stretches in our upper body. So starting here, sitting up tall, you're gonna inhale. Think about filling your low belly with air, breathing in this 360 direction all around. And exhale, squeeze everything in and up as you exhale through your nose. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale. Make sure you're getting that big ujjayi sound as you exhale through your nose. Get our victorious breath going while we're doing this strong legs flow. From here, just inhale, reach your arms up, and exhale, twist to the right. We're just going to hold this twist, maintaining that mula bandha breath. Starting to warm up our legs and our core. Inhale, lift up. This time we'll go towards the left. So hands come to heart center and twist to the left. Again, maintaining that lift in the spine, twisting with your core. Very nice. Inhale, lift up. This time we'll just do some fists of fire to low belly. <clears throat> so just fists come to low belly here. Some strength, some power mudra. Inhale, lift up. A little mini cat cow with your spine. Nice last one here. Now we'll switch legs. Make sure we get a little stretch on both legs here. So again, bottom knee can be a little bit rotated towards the earth. That typically tends to be a bit more comfortable. You can have a little flex or point in your knee Create some space for your hips. Left leg is stacked on top this time. A little bit of a flex on the top leg helps protect the knee. And of course, again, if you need blanket, pillow, block, anything like that to help create some support for your leg, you'll just let gravity do its thing, helping stretch out your legs and hips while you get back into that Mula Bandha breath. So inhaling, filling that space in a 360 breath. And then exhale, squeeze all the air in and up, activating your deep core muscles as you exhale through the nose. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale. This time, inhale, reach your arms up. Hands come to heart center as you exhale and twist to the left first this time. So really grounding into the earth with your hips, sitting up tall, sending through the crown of the head. Using all of your spinal core muscles, side body here, that's where our strength and twist is coming from. And inhale, reach back up to center, exhale, twist the other direction. Really using that Mula Bandha breath as we twist. Don't want to have that breath go anywhere just because we're twisting. And back to center, we'll do those fists of fire now. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, little cat cow spine as you fists of fire to low belly. Inhale, lift up. Really going with the flow. Going with your breath here. 
and last one. Very nice from here, making your way onto hands and knees. Strong palms and fingertips into the earth, presses you back into your down dog. Start with slight bend in your knees and elbows, wave the spine long to create some space, and then exhale, letting your heels sink towards the earth as you come to that first edge of stretch in your legs. And then you can walk your dog, pedal out your feet, starting to warm up your calves and your hamstrings, getting into the bigger muscles here. Then from here, slight bend in your knees and elbows. We'll get into our strong legs vinyasa. So lift right leg to the sky. Exhale, knee comes to chest. Really lifting in and up as you step your right foot to your right thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Bend your back knee slightly, ground into the earth. Lift yourself in and up, coming into a high lunge. We'll do some fists of fire lunges here. So you're going to inhale, extend both legs. Exhale, fist comes to low belly as you bend both knees into a lunge here. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Very nice. This time as you inhale, lean yourself forward. Firmly plant into the earth with your right foot. Strong core, strong legs. Steps your left foot to meet right in a fierce chair pose. So sitting back into your heels, sitting back into your hips. Inhale, arms lift to the sky. From here, you're going to inhale. Exhale, fly your chair a bit. As you fly your chair, you're going to lift onto your tiptoes. Need some strength in the calves. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, through fists of fire. Lifting onto your toes. Inhale, lift up. Staying low in that fierce chair pose again, sitting back in your heels. Not to your toes. Couple more rounds of this. Inhale, lift up. I'm sure you are feeling it in your legs already. Last one. Flying your chair, lifting onto your toes. Inhale, you can come to stand for a moment. Exhale, back to chair. Now strength and balance challenge again, really ground into the earth with your right foot. Lift up with all of that deep core strength and step your foot back into your high lunge. Woo, getting a little wobbly, that's okay. <laughs> you can also widen your feet if you need a little bit more balance. Inhale, lift up, we'll do those lunges again, but this time as you exhale, fists of fire, tap, the back knee onto the earth, so a little bit deeper lunge. Nice controlled movement here. Very nice, inhale, lift up. Exhale, plant hands onto the earth, strong fingertips to strong palms. Lift that knee into your chest, press yourself back to down dog, open your hips to the right and let that right foot fall behind you, stretching out the front of that leg. Getting into your psoas and core. Awesome. Playing that foot onto the mat. You can pedal out your feet, stretch out your legs again. And then from here, taking that on the left side. So slight bending your knees and elbows, left leg lifts high. Exhale, bring knee into chest. Set the left foot forward. Inhale, prepare long spine, bending your back knee, rolling yourself in and up to your high lunge. And exhale, fists of fire lunges, bending that back knee. Inhale, lifts you up. Exhale. Inhale, last time here. This time, inhale, leans you forward, really ground into the mat with your left foot, stepping up with that strong leg and core, so right leg meets the left. Back into our fierce chair pose. Hips are sitting back. So really like, think about it like sitting in a chair. Firmly planting your feet, sitting onto your heels. And from here, we'll mix it up a little bit. 
This time we're going to come to stand as we do our fists of fire and come to our tiptoes here. Inhale, sits you, sits you back into your chair. Exhale, lifts you up. Again, we're doing controlled movement here. It's not about speed, we're about building strength right now, so we want it to really control our movement and our momentum. And really making sure that we have good alignment in our chair pose when we sit. All right, last one here. Sits you back into chair. Inhale here, prepare. Really grounding into the earth with your left foot, lifting in and up. Right knee comes into chest. And you slow and control step that right foot back. Strength and balance challenge. Very nice. Inhale lifts you up. Exhale, fists of fire, tapping the back knee to the earth. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale, last lunge here. Inhale up. Firmly planting fingertips to the earth. Strong palms, lift left leg to your core. Back to down dog splits and open up that top leg. Getting a great stretch. Coming back to your dog pose. Pedal out your feet again. Starting to notice that strength in both of your legs. From here, slight bend in knees and elbows. Wave yourself forward to plank. Come onto your knees, lower through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare a long spine. Roll yourself in and up. And exhale, settling back into your down dog pose. If you need to stick out your tongue side out, that's the top of your deep core line. And then from here, you can hit pause and do as many rounds of that as you want. Get some nice fatigue in your legs. And once you feel like you've gotten the uh, strength that workout that you want today, and you can come back to our cool down stretch. So from here, come to a nice easy seat, grounding your hips into the earth. You can lean back and then just take your right ankle, place it over your left knee, coming into a seated pigeon here. Now you can keep your left leg out farther, or you can bring it in closer, sit up taller, depending on what stretch you're feeling like you need. So we're getting a little bit deeper into our hips now that we've Worked him so much. Then from here, you can even take it a little bit deeper and walk yourself down to the mat and hug that knee into your chest. So making sure that the right knee stays open. You can grab onto the outside of your shin. You can grab onto the back of your leg. Whatever is most comfortable for you and gently pulling that left knee towards your left shoulder Getting a bit deeper stretch here. And if you're feeling really up to it, sometimes I like to take this as kind of a twist. So you keep your right ankle over your left knee. You can bring it back down and kind of twist from here. Just drop your knees to the left. Or you can keep them hugged up here and drop them towards the left, depending on how much of a stretch you want. You can kind of play around with where you like. Sometimes I like to grab my left foot and use that to help pull my right leg a little bit towards me. It's kind of a fun, funky twist stretch, but you can play around with it, see what feels good to you. You can even scoot your hips over to the right a little bit more and then do the twist. That can help keep your spine in a good alignment and get you a little bit different stretch in the legs. And from there, once you feel like you've had a good stretch on that right leg, you can rock and roll yourself back up to sit and try it all on the other side. <laughs> so sitting up tall, legs are out in front of you. Nice to have your hands planted behind you so you can get a healthy lean. Left ankle over the right knee. Again, you can hang out here if that is 
as much of a stretch as you're needing today or pull that leg in a bit closer, sit up taller, get more of a stretch on that outer left hip. Then if you wanna try some other fun, funky reclined pigeon variations, make your way towards the mat. Again, maybe this is enough for you and you hang out here or grab the back of the right leg, grab the shin, gently pull that right knee towards your right shoulder, making sure that the left foot stays flexed so that the left knee has a healthy alignment. And then again, from here, you can try some fun twisting on this side. So you can start from your left foot on the ground and just drop your knee to the right or and play around with it because sometimes I feel a different stretch on a different day depends what I'm what I'm needing you can start with your legs closer to you and drop them to the right again you can hook onto your bottom foot and help pull it closer towards you kind of a little bit of a pretzel position but that can feel good it can get deep into the hips and piriformis muscles or again, if it feels better, start by scooting your hips a little bit to the left, because then when you drop your knees towards the right, now you have a little bit better alignment between the hips and shoulders. So play around with that, see what you like. Once you're done kind of figuring out the stretches you like there, you can hug your knees into your chest. You can also extend your legs, press them up to the ceiling. This can be enough of a stretch, or you can grab onto the backs of your hamstrings, calves, if you're feeling really flexy, you can even hook onto your toes, do a bit of a forward fold, recline forward fold, of course. And in the last variation, you can even take it as a wide leg forward fold, reclined fold, I guess. Get into your inner thighs. And after you take in whatever variations of the stretches you like, come into your final Shavasana resting pose, extending out into the mat and sinking into the earth and take all of that strength that you've just cultivated with you into the rest of your day, whatever you have going. But make sure to take a couple of moments to stay here and settle into your new strong alignment. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. I do hope you enjoyed that strong legs flow. Hope you're feeling all of that power that's walking underneath you. I definitely look forward to seeing you on the mat again soon. So make sure you are on the uh, YouTube channel. That way you get notifications for the new videos. And of course I have exclusive content for you on the League of Nerdy Yogi's email list. So make sure you're signed up there as well. Namaste.